Princess, I'm Jojo from Ballet with Jojo and Adult Ballet Collective and today I wanted to share with you my ripstop trash bag collection um, in another Adult Ballet style video. If you follow me on Instagram you might have noticed that I do have quite a few of these items and I just wanted to take you through them and let you know my thoughts. So let's get started. So first up I actually wanted to show you these sauna shorts from Modeal. Um, I wanted to start with these because I really feel like these are actually the Chanel of ripstop back in that kind of range. So they just have such beautiful details. Also, the elastic's really nice and soft. This isn't an extra small, small size. By the way, my leotard's also from Bodil. It's just one of my favorite brands at the moment. It's just so beautifully detailed. Um, but anyway, back to the shorts. So I'm gonna tell you what I love about them. Firstly, you'll notice compared to some other ones, and I'll show you later, that they're not as noisy as the other ones, okay? So the other ones I call noisy, swishy pants. These ones have a limited noise. There's also like this beautiful detailed um, little charm here, and it's just like on like a velvet tag. There's also a little velvet detail on the side, which is just gorgeous. And what I love about these shorts is that they are fully adjustable. So have a look. This is pull down. I know, super unattractive this length. Um, but you can adjust how you want it and there's this like elastic with the tags. So you can choose how high or how low you want it. I love these shorts because I actually have um, lower back problems and I love wearing them for things like intensives because they keep my muscles super warm. And this might sound really gross, but I promise that you will sweat in them. Okay, the inside is kind of like just this shiny fabric. Um, it's actually quite thin, but I love these shorts so, so much. So these are the Bodil Swarna shorts. They are more pricey than other um, trash bag and ripstop items, but I truly believe that they are worth the cost just because they're so beautifully detailed. I personally feel they are the most comfortable as well. And for me, comfort comes first, especially when I'm coaching or dancing because I just need to feel good in what I'm wearing. And I think these definitely do the job. So these next shorts are from Sonata Dancewear. I have quite a few of their ripstop items. Um, they were gifts from a friend, but I love how the range is also very accessible and quite affordable. Um, look, they're very sort of standard ripstop. They're thicker than the Brodeal, definitely. They're just not as comfortable, in my opinion. Um, the waist elastic is fine, but I find the elastic, I know, look, maybe it's because I've got chunky thighs, but the elastic I find is so tight. I'm wearing in a size extra small, which is what I normally wear in items. And look, the length and stuff, waist is fine, but I just find that these are really tight around um, the thigh area, which makes it a little bit uncomfortable to be honest. So that would be um, the only fault with these. I do feel like they balloon up. Do you see that? It's a bit unattractive. They balloon up in the front as well. Um, look, they're great if you just want to generate some heat and um, if you want a nice affordable solution for that. So yeah, there you go. These are the Sonata dancewear ones. And I also have them in another color. And I will show you that in a second. So here are the pink versions of the Sonata uh, ripstop trash bag shorts. Again, they're like much more balloony <laughs> than the Bodil version. I definitely think it's the fabric. They're much more like swishy as well. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that on camera. Um, and yeah, just a little bit tighter around the legs. So if you've got skinny legs, they're probably perfect on you. <laughs> but I definitely have, um, you know, chunky bum and chunky thighs. So just on me, it's not the most comfortable. I do think this looks super cute. I know a lot of people also like roll down um, the, the waist there and that's kind of a cute look. It's just all up to you on how you want to style it. Um, they are kind of an odd thing to wear, but they are definitely very like professional dancers. So it is kind of nice to have them as an adult belly dancer. 
Um, I do think they are great for class, like all any kind of ripstop or trash bag because they're generating that heat and I genuinely feel like it does help you with stuff like your turnout um, just because it keeps your muscles properly warm and properly activated when you're wearing these. All right, and up next we have another pair of Sonata ripstops. These are in the pink colour, again, the same as the shorts. I actually find these more comfortable than the shorts, but when I wear them to class, they're just so sort of swishy. <laughs> and no one else wears them in my class, so I always feel a little bit odd. But I do think these are quite cool. Um, I feel like they are a little bit like genie pants in a way. Um, but yeah, they are pretty comfortable. As I said, they're thicker than the Bodil. There's not as much detailing in it as the Bodil, but they're a nice basic to have in your wardrobe. Um, you know how I was talking about the elastic in the shorts? The elastic on these aren't as tight, so it's a little bit more comfortable, like I could wear them comfortably there, and they probably only got to here for me. Um, so that's a bonus, at least it lasts its own time. The waists are fine. I do think just the Bodil one is softer, like it still holds on to you, but it's just softer. So it's just that little bit more comfortable um, in general. And like I said, these these pair kind of, well all of them kind of have this tendency to blow up in the front there. So it is, I don't know, if you don't like that on your body, then I guess in general trash bag and ripstop is not for use, but definitely give them a go because I think they are really great for classes and just for keeping your muscles warm during class as well. Next in my collection is this jumpsuit from Sonata. Um, clearly it's the same pink as the shorts and the pants. I know I'm crazy, I have all three. Um, but I think this one is really, really cute. Again, it's like the pants, they're pretty swishy. So they're pretty noisy when you're in class, especially if no one else is wearing anything like that. Um, but I think this one's really cute. It covers a lot. Um, the only thing is the elastic in the top here is a little bit tight. Um, that's the only thing. The waist is fine. I think it's quite flattering because it does cinch you in. The pants are pretty much the same as the uh, pants, you know, without the jumpsuit, so they're pretty comfy. Um, and there are like a multitude of ways that you can wear this. I've seen professional dancers kind of just roll it, like they don't even put the top up, or they wear it without the straps, or I don't know. There's so many different ways that you can style an item like this, so it is quite versatile. Um, personally, I don't see the like a huge benefit of having the ripstop coming all the way up to your chest. It does keep you warm a little bit more, but I do prefer like a softer um, warm-up, like a knit warm-up or something like that if I wanted to keep my upper body warm. So I think it's just a really cute kind of ballet statement. Um, I think ultimately like the pants are good enough, but I think it just looks really, really adorable. Um, and yeah, I think this one's really cute, really detailed. I do, I don't know why, but I always wish there was like pockets in them, just because they're kind of like track pants, so I want to put my hands in pockets, but well, that's it. So there you go, that's the jumpsuit for you. And last but not least, I have the latest addition to my collection. I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I put it on. This is actually the sauna jumpsuit from Bodil, so um, the shorts that I wore in the beginning. Um, it's so beautifully detailed. When I unpack it though, it looks hilarious because it's so square. But I'll show you when I put it on what it's like. So again, the fabric feels actually really nice and soft for this compared to the Sonata. That feels a little bit like more pl plasticky in a way and more like traditional ripstop. This one's like sort of a newer technology. I know this is super unattractive. So you can tighten the top here. There's this beautiful velvet ribbon with um, the gold detailing. So you can tighten that. So let's tighten this. Whereas the Sonata one had an elastic. And then you can tighten the waist. There you go. My body's coming back. I'm not just wearing a tent. So you can tighten the waist. And it's also the um, velvet kind of ribbon. 
I don't know if I showed you, there's the straps of velvet as well and they're really stretchy so they are really soft. Um, so I've got that. Tuck that in a bit. And these are just like the shorts, so you've got the elastic and the toggles which are really good. So just tighten that. And I like to tuck it in so I don't have bits flying out when I'm dancing. There you go. See, it doesn't look like a tent anymore, does it? <laughs> so that is the Bodil jumpsuit. And I guess, you know, with anything, you can kind of adjust the length of it. I do like to have it sort of a little bit shorter just because I am quite short. So in general, that would be better for me. But I think this is so cute. It's so unique. The fabric feels really soft and actually like really silky. I love the velvet details. I think they're very, very luxe on an item like this. Um, and you know me, I love my dance wear. So I love exploring and trying out new things, especially new technology. Um, from what I know, I haven't danced in this yet, but I wear the Bodil shorts a lot of the time. I do feel like this is just going to elevate the heat. Um, like I said, I normally do like to wear like a knitted wrap or something on top. So I might wear like a shrug and that would keep me extra warm. Um, I feel like wearing this though, you would become extremely, extremely sweaty. So you probably don't want to wear one of like your favorite leotards underneath this because you really will sweat through it. I can promise you that. It sounds gross, but it's really what you want from Ripstop to be honest. Um, but there you go, so that is the sauna uh, jumpsuit from Bodil and you saw the rest of my collection, mainly Bodil and Sonata. There are some other ripstop brands of course. If there's anything that you actually want me to try, feel free to leave it in the comments below or you can uh, message me on social media. My DMs are always open for the community. Please like, comment and subscribe because that would help on my YouTube journey and I hope to see you soon. Bye!